Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th. Right around the 19th. I have started my Junes, so I did Taurus and I did Aries, but I'm going to do Aries over because it's just, I just uh, need to do it over. So anyhow, um... So I just decided I was going to do my daily, but stay tuned for the Junes because they're coming right up. And Taurus should be downloaded by the time you get to this. So what do we have for a daily vibe for around the 18th, keeping in mind, or 19th, the 19th, keeping in mind that the timing is fluid. Eight of Pentacles reversed, so that's not, something isn't working out. Somebody's not putting in much effort. Devil reversed, and now Devil reversed is either extremely toxic, unhealthy, bound to something that is unhealthy, needing to break free. We have an unhealthy behavior here, so somebody is... And that's in the past, though. So breaking free from an unhealthy bond. Something isn't working out. This is toxic, extremely toxic. Three of Swords reversed. The Three of Swords reversed is the end of suffering. Okay, this is the end of suffering. Giving up. Not putting in any more work. Something isn't working out. This, there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. This is the end of suffering. So giving up the heartache, giving up the pain. Um, there's definitely been a lot of suffering. Okay. This is the end of suffering. The end of a painful situation. Healing. It's a healing energy. On the path to recovery, nine of pentacles reversed. So that is uh, unstable or insecure or not happy, definitely. Must take action right now. Very insecure. Somebody's insecure. They're unstable. They could be unstable. And when I say unstable, unstable could be in a physical sense. Okay, uh, we have somebody here that is unstable, they're insecure, they're, they are not in a good place, they've been suffering, they've been suffering in some sort of pain, but the, the, we do have the end of suffering with that three of swords reversed, things are going to get better, but we have somebody here that must take action, they need to take action right now. That's the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody needs to, to stabilize, right? They, and, and maybe somebody has been suffering because they don't want to be alone. You know, it's like, I don't want to be alone. I'm scared to be alone. We could also have somebody here that is independent, that doesn't want to give up their independence. It could go either way. Um, but that devil reversed is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. So somebody is breaking free from something that isn't working out. And they are on the path to recovery. And it is going to take strength. And it's going to take perseverance to start over and pick themselves back up and stabilize. Somebody's been in an unstable situation where, or insecure or where there's just a lack of abundance or there's a lack of growth and, growth and there's no enjoyment there. This is not enjoying a good life. Somebody hasn't been living a good life. They've been dealing with a lot of heartache and suffering um, and they've been tied to something that is unhealthy but it felt good. It may have given them instant gratification. It may have been lust. It may have been materialism. You know, may have been an addiction. Somebody may have been obsessed with somebody, you know, for sexual reasons or for materialistic reasons or whatever the case is. But I do see severing ties. I mean, the devil reverse is like severing ties from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Could even be just, could be a behavior, could be an addiction, could be a person. Somebody has been bound to something for all the wrong reasons and I feel like they're giving up. It's like they're not putting in effort to do that anymore. There's, it's just you know it feels like this is not a good life anyhow 
Five of Cups reversed. Now the Five of Cups reversed, reversed again is on the path to recovery. It is, there's been some sort of prolonged grief and there, there still could be some grieving, but this is beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity. Somebody has been suffering. They have been grieving. They've been grieving over a loss. They've been thinking about their independence, whether they've been thinking about, you know, being alone or not being alone, whatever it is. They've been thinking about their independence. They've been thinking about their own insecurities, you know, their own insecurities have been keeping them bound, okay? Their own insecurities have been keeping them bound to something that is unhealthy. Um, and they have been missing an opportunity for love, focusing on whatever it is that they were focusing on, the pain, the heart, the suffering, you know, they've been focusing on, you know the missed opportunity or the lost opportunity or the lack of reciprocation or whatever and trying to figure out well if I do this if I do that you know it will work well no it's not working it's not working out okay if it's not healthy if it's not toxic if it's based on lust greed uh, materialism everything but love then hey it's, it's it's not working out we have something that's not working out and I do believe that there's another opportunity here that somebody is beginning to see it's like they see that this is an opportunity it's 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 clear it's, i feel like we have somebody here that is is seeing another opportunity for perhaps a partnership or a union um that could uh bring them stability and security but they'll have to deal with their own insecurities to turn around and actually take you know that two of cups so somebody has been focusing on something that is not emotionally fulfilling where there's been no emotional growth but their own insecurities kept them there you know now the five of cups reversed is moving on so i feel like we have somebody here that is moving on they are ready to focus on the future Oh, oh my goodness gracious, this is a permanent loss. So the, the tower reverse is a permanent loss. It's been avoided up until now. It can't be avoided anymore. There's going to be a major disruption and, and somebody may explode. You know, this is a major uh, shakeup. Okay, there's going to be a shakeup. I think it's going to be on the home front or with some sort of structure. Now that could even be a body. It could be, like I said, physical, which I don't know. But it could be. It could be at the home. It could be at the job, or it could be with a physical body. I do believe that things are going to crash. There's going to be some sort of crash, some sort of crumble. Uh, there's. This is a. This. There could even be some. Ex, this is extremes. There's extremes here. When you get all cards in reverse, this is extreme. Or there's an absence of success. Reversals are extremes and absences of. Okay? So we get people don't want reversals, but we get the true story. Okay? We want the true story, not the fake story. So anyhow, the tower is a rude awakening. Okay? This is a rude awakening. I feel like something is going to be seen. That has been hidden, okay, something has been hidden, it's going to be seen, it's going to be seen very, very clearly. I think that there's going to be a major disturbance um, in regards to some sort of structure, and I think that the structure isn't stable, it's a necessary evil, right? It's uh, extremely unstable. We have somebody here that is extremely, in a, in, a, in a very extremely unstable situation. It's not secure at all. At all. And I do believe there's going to get prepared for an uproar or a shock. This is a shock. Okay? It's, it's a shock. So, um... It's something you never saw coming. Now we got the we got the hermit reversed. So this the hermit reversed is <sighs> loneliness. We got somebody here that is has been in a situation where there's they've been alone. They've been lonely. They haven't been uh, connecting. There's been a lack of connection. Um, there could also be a reconnection here. Somebody may be reconnecting with somebody. Uh, they're, they're coming out of hiding. It could be an absolute shock. 
okay there could be a reconnection here somebody has been grieving they have a lot of regrets they could be reconnecting at this time get prepared for a shock okay there is some sort of shock here there is a surprise um, something isn't working out or it didn't work out there's a severing of ties of a toxic bond that was based on greed lust materialism ego I feel like that that bond is being severed or it has been severed or it is being severed somebody is about healing they're about to heal something they're healing they're ready to heal they're ready for love they're ready to open up they're ready to and the things are about to open up trust me things are gonna be opening up and they're gonna open up with bang all right it is definitely gonna be a bang okay a big one anyhow um if some we have a we have a single person here that is it, however it resonates okay if you're single you probably aren't going to be single much longer if you are in a relationship you know I'm not saying this is going to be for everybody but there, there's definitely going to be a shake up and it is going to be uh huge huge this is a major awakening if somebody's going to need to go within to plan their next move there's going to be planning involved this is going to be a major shift okay it's a it's this is like a major shift of consciousness we have somebody here that you know is going to get a rude awakening and they're going to be looking in a new direction towards a new partnership that is more emotionally fulfilling and more more uh healing okay this is a very healing energy it's a necessary evil where the universe is coming in to it to uh uh shake things up they're gonna shake up somebody's foundation because it's based on this okay <laughs> good luck